Ladies and gentlemen, if you are enjoying my videos, please click the like button. It is the only way the YouTube algorithm really notices me. I would be very grateful to you. Elm Street, The Darkness Returns. Scary Story Published by Scare Fiction. Chapter 1 Shadows of the Past. Maya's heart pounded in her chest as she turned onto Elm Street, the familiar sight of the tree lined road sending shivers down her spine. It had been months since she last set foot in this neighborhood. Yet the memories of her previous encounter with the darkness lingered like a shadow in her mind. As she approached her old house, Maya couldn't shake the feeling of unease that settled over her. The street was eerily quiet, the houses standing silent and watchful, like sentinels in the night. It was as if the very air around her held its breath, waiting for something sinister to emerge from the darkness. Stepping out of her car, Maya felt a chill run down her spine as she gazed up at the flickering streetlights overhead. It was the same flickering that had plagued her before, a subtle yet unsettling sign that the darkness was once again stirring in the depths of Elm Street. With a sense of trepidation, Maya unlocked the front door and stepped inside, the familiar scent of her old home washing over her like a wave of nostalgia. But beneath the surface, there was an undercurrent of fear a nagging sense that something was terribly wrong. No sooner had Maya settled in than the strange occurrences began anew. Lights flickered and dimmed without warning, casting eerie shadows that danced along the walls. Whispering voices seemed to echo through the empty rooms, their words indiscernible yet filled with malice. Maya tried to brush off the unsettling phenomenon, convincing herself that it was nothing more than her imagination running wild. But deep down, she knew that something was terribly wrong. The darkness had returned to Elm Street, and it was more malevolent than ever before. Night after night, Maya found herself plagued by nightmares of the shadowy figure that had tormented her before. Its presence loomed over her like a dark cloud, suffocating her with its suffocating grip. She could feel it watching her, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. As the days turned into weeks, Maya's unease grew into a palpable sense of dread. She could sense the darkness closing in around her, its tendrils reaching out to ensnare her in its grasp. There was no escaping it, no hiding from the horrors that lurked just beyond the edge of her perception. And so, Maya found herself once again caught in the clutches of Elm Street's darkest secret. With each passing day, the darkness grew stronger, its presence more tangible than ever before. And as Maya stood alone in the shadows, she knew that the nightmare was far from over. For the darkness had returned to Elm Street, and this time it would stop at nothing to consume her soul. Chapter 2 Whispers in the Night the night draped over Elm Street like a heavy cloak, casting long shadows that danced across the deserted road. Whispers filled the air, soft and insidious, weaving through the empty streets like tendrils of mist. Maya stood on her porch, her heart racing as she listened to the eerie symphony that surrounded her. Each whisper seemed to carry a message, a warning of unseen dangers lurking in the darkness. Maya strained to make out the words, but they slipped through her fingers like smoke, leaving her feeling unsettled and vulnerable. Determined to uncover the source of the whispers, Maya ventured out into the night, her footsteps echoing on the pavement as she made her way down the silent streets of Elm Street. The air was thick with anticipation, each breath she took tinged with a sense of foreboding. As Maya walked, the whispers seemed to grow louder, swirling around her like a gathering storm. She could feel them pressing in on her from all sides, their words a constant barrage of cryptic messages and warnings. Driven by a mix of curiosity and fear, Maya followed the whispers to the edge of town, where they seemed to converge in a dark alleyway. The air was heavy with the scent of decay, and Maya hesitated for a moment before pressing forward, her heart pounding in her chest. 
In the dim light of a flickering street lamp, Maya saw something that sent a chill down her spine. Scrawled on the walls in blood-red letters were words that seemed to pulse with a malevolent energy. Beware the darkness, they read, for it hungers for your soul. A cold shiver ran down Maya's spine as she read the ominous message, her mind racing with possibilities. Who had written it? And what did they know about the darkness that lurked in the shadows of Elm Street? Determined to uncover the truth, Maya pressed on, her senses on high alert as she delved deeper into the alleyway. But the whispers grew louder with each step she took. Suddenly, Maya stumbled upon a hidden alcove, concealed from view by a tangle of overgrown vines. Inside, she found a makeshift shrine adorned with candles and strange symbols that seemed to pulse with an otherworldly light. It was then that Maya realized the truth. The whispers were not just figments of her imagination, but a manifestation of something far more sinister. Something that had been lurking in the shadows of Elm Street all along, waiting for the perfect opportunity to reveal itself. With a sinking feeling in the pit of her stomach, Maya knew that she had stumbled upon something far more dangerous than she had ever imagined. And as the whispers closed in around her, she realized that the darkness that had returned to Elm Street was far more insidious than she had ever feared. And so, with a sense of dread weighing heavy on her heart, Maya prepared to confront the darkness head on, knowing that the battle for Elm Street was only just beginning. Chapter 3 The Diary's Secrets The old diary lay open on Maya's lap its yellowed pages filled with the cryptic writings of Emily Hawthorne. Maya traced her fingers over the faded ink, her heart pounding with a mixture of fear and anticipation. She had returned to Elm Street in search of answers, and now she hoped to find them within the pages of Emily's diary. As Maya read on, the words seemed to leap off the page, painting a vivid picture of Elm Street's dark and twisted history. Emily's entries spoke of strange occurrences and unexplained phenomena, of shadows that seemed to move of their own accord and whispers that echoed through the night. But it was the mention of the darkness that sent a chill down Maya's spine. According to Emily's writings, the darkness had plagued Elm Street for centuries, feeding on the fear and despair of its residents. It was a malevolent force ancient and unyielding, with the power to consume the souls of those who dared to stand in its way. With each passing page, Maya's obsession with the diary grew, consuming her thoughts and blurring the lines between reality and nightmare. She spent hours poring over its pages, searching for clues that would help her defeat the darkness once and for all. But the more Maya read, the more she realized that the darkness was not something that could be easily vanquished. It was a part of Elm Street's very fabric, woven into the very foundation of the town itself. And as Maya delved deeper into Emily's writings, she began to understand the true extent of its power. Hidden within the diary were dark revelations about Elm Street's sinister past tales of betrayal, madness, and unspeakable horrors that had been buried beneath the surface for centuries. It was a history steeped in blood and darkness, with the darkness at its very core. As Maya read on, she felt a sense of unease settle over her like a suffocating blanket. The lines between reality and nightmare blurred, and she found herself haunted by visions of the darkness that lurked just beyond the edge of her perception but Maya refused to let fear consume her. With a steely resolve, she continued to search for answers, determined to uncover the truth, no matter the cost. For she knew that the fate of Elm Street rested in her hands, and she would do whatever it took to protect it from the darkness that threatened to consume it. And so, with the diary clutched tightly in her hands, Maya prepared to confront the darkness head on, knowing that the battle for Elm Street was only just beginning. Chapter 4 
Bailey's return. The night hung heavy over Elm Street, the air thick with an oppressive silence that seemed to suffocate Maya as she stepped out into darkness. She could feel the weight of Emily Hawthorne's diary pressing against her chest, a constant reminder of the horrors that lurked just beyond the edge of her perception. But Maya's thoughts were soon interrupted by a faint sound in the distance, a ghostly howl that sent shivers down her spine. She turned towards the sound, her heart pounding in her chest as she searched for its source. And then, like a specter emerging from the shadows, Bailey appeared before her. The sight of her beloved dog sent a surge of relief coursing through Maya's veins, but it was short-lived. For there was something different about Bailey, something otherworldly and unsettling. His fur seemed to glow with an ethereal light, and his eyes burned with an intensity that sent a chill down Maya's spine. But despite his ghostly appearance, Bailey's presence filled Maya with a sense of hope, a glimmer of light in the darkness that surrounded her. Guided by Bailey's spectral howls, Maya ventured deeper into the heart of Elm Street, her senses on high alert as she navigated the twisting alleyways and deserted streets. With each step she took, the darkness seemed to close in around her, its suffocating grip tightening with every passing moment. But Maya refused to back down. With Bailey by her side, she pressed on, her determination unwavering as she faced the unknown horrors that awaited her. Finally, they arrived at their destination, a dilapidated mansion at the edge of town, its crumbling facade a testament to the darkness that had taken root within its walls. Maya could feel the entity's presence lurking just beyond the threshold, a malevolent force that seemed to pulse with a dark and terrible power. With a sense of trepidation, Maya stepped inside, her footsteps echoing through the empty corridors as she searched for the source of the darkness. And then, in the depths of the mansion's basement, she found it a swirling vortex of shadows that seemed to devour the very light around it. Bailey's howls grew louder as Maya approached the vortex, their unearthly sound reverberating through the air like a mournful cry. But Maya pushed aside her fear, her resolve unwavering, as she prepared to confront the darkness head-on. As she stepped into the swirling abyss, Maya felt a sense of dread wash over her like a tidal wave. The entity's power surged around her, testing her resolve and sanity with each passing moment. But Maya refused to falter. With Bailey by her side, she stood tall against the darkness, her determination burning bright in the face of overwhelming odds. For she knew that the fate of Elm Street rested in her hands, and she would not rest until the darkness had been vanquished once and for all. And so, with a fierce determination burning in her heart, Maya prepared to face the entity head on, knowing that the battle for Elm Street was far from over. Chapter 5 Mrs. Henderson's Warning Maya's heart raced as she approached Mrs. Henderson's house, the weight of Emily Hawthorne's diary heavy in her hands. She had come seeking answers, hoping that the elderly woman could shed light on the true nature of the darkness that had taken root in Elm Street. The door creaked open as Maya knocked, revealing Mrs. Henderson's weathered face framed by wisps of gray hair. The old woman's eyes bore into Maya's soul their intensity sending a shiver down her spine. Come in, child, Mrs. Henderson said, her voice a low whisper that seemed to echo through the empty room. Maya stepped inside, the air thick with anticipation as she waited for Mrs. Henderson to speak. It's been a long time since I've seen you, Maya, Mrs. Henderson said, her voice tinged with sadness. I feared the darkness had claimed you as well. Maya swallowed hard, her throat dry with fear. I need your help, Mrs. Henderson, she said, her voice barely above a whisper. The darkness has returned to Elm Street, and I don't know how to stop it. Mrs. Henderson's eyes narrowed, and Maya could see the flicker of concern behind them. The darkness is a force unlike any other child. It feeds on fear and despair, 
growing stronger with each passing day. Maya's heart sank at Mrs. Henderson's words, the weight of their meaning pressing down on her like a suffocating blanket. Is there anything we can do to stop it? She asked, her voice trembling with uncertainty. Mrs. Henderson nodded, her expression grim. There is a ritual, she said, her voice barely above a whisper. A ritual that can banish the entity from Elm Street once and for all. Maya's eyes widened at the mention of the ritual, a flicker of hope igniting within her chest. What do we need to do? She asked, her voice tinged with urgency. Mrs. Henderson's gaze softened, and Maya could see the weight of years of sorrow etched into the lines of her face. The ritual requires a sacrifice, she said, her voice heavy with regret. A sacrifice of pure intent, made willingly by one who is willing to give everything to save Elm Street from the darkness. Maya's heart clenched at Mrs. Henderson's words, the gravity of the situation sinking in with each passing moment. She knew what she had to do, knew that she was the only one who could stop the darkness from consuming Elm Street once and for all. With Mrs. Henderson's guidance, Maya began to prepare for the ritual, gathering the necessary ingredients and performing the required incantations. Each step brought her closer to the moment of truth, closer to the ultimate showdown with the darkness that had plagued Elm Street for so long. And as the time for the ritual drew near, Maya felt a sense of peace wash over her, knowing that she was finally ready to face the darkness head on. With Mrs. Henderson by her side, she stepped out into the night, her heart filled with determination and hope, for she knew that the fate of Elm Street rested in her hands, and she would do whatever it took to save it from the darkness that threatened to consume it. Chapter 6 the ritual unfolds. Maya stood in the center of a circle of flickering candles, their flames casting long shadows that danced across the walls of Mrs. Henderson's living room. The air was heavy with the scent of incense and the tension of impending doom as Maya prepared to perform the ritual that would banish the darkness from Elm Street once and for all. With trembling hands, Maya lit the final candle, its flame burning bright against the darkness that surrounded her. She closed her eyes and took a deep breath, centering herself as she recited the ancient incantations that Mrs. Henderson had taught her. As Maya spoke, the words of power, the air seemed to crackle with energy, the very fabric of reality trembling beneath the weight of her magic. Candles flickered and danced, their flames reaching ever higher as the ritual reached its climax. But even as Maya felt the power of the ritual coursing through her veins, a sense of dread gnawed at the edges of her consciousness. She knew that the darkness would not go down without a fight, that it would do everything in its power to stop her from succeeding. And then, as if in response to Maya's thoughts, the darkness descended upon her like a tidal wave, its tendrils reaching out to ensnare her in its suffocating embrace. Maya gasped as she felt its icy touch, her skin prickling with a cold that seemed to penetrate to her very bones. But Maya refused to back down. With every ounce of strength she possessed, she pushed back against the darkness, her willpower burning bright against its malevolent force. She could feel the weight of Elm Street's history pressing down on her, the weight of all those who had come before her and failed to stop the darkness in its tracks. With a final surge of power, Maya unleashed the full force of the ritual, channeling her magic into a single, focused burst of energy. The darkness recoiled at her touch, its form wavering and shifting like a mirage in the desert. And then, with a deafening roar, the darkness was gone, banished from Elm Street forever. Maya collapsed to her knees, her body trembling with exhaustion as she gazed out into the night, the stars shining bright against the backdrop of the empty sky. But even as Maya celebrated her victory, 
She knew that the darkness would never truly be defeated. It would lie in wait, biding its time until the moment was right to strike once again. But for now, Elm Street was safe, its residents free from the grip of the darkness that had plagued them for so long. And as Maya closed her eyes and let the weight of her victory wash over her, she knew that she had done what she had set out to do. She had saved Elm Street from the darkness that threatened to consume it. Chapter 7 Echoes of the Past As Maya sat in the quiet solitude of her home, she couldn't shake the feeling that something was not quite right. Memories of her recent encounter with the darkness still haunted her, lingering like shadows in the corners of her mind. And now, as she closed her eyes and allowed herself to drift into the depths of her subconscious, she found herself confronted with visions of Elm Street's dark and twisted past. The images flickered before her eyes, like scenes from a forgotten nightmare, revealing the origins of the darkness that had plagued the town for centuries. She saw glimpses of ancient rituals performed under the light of the full moon, of sacrifices made in the name of power and immortality. But it was the figure at the center of it all that sent a chill down Maya's spine, a shadowy figure with glowing eyes and a sinister smile, its presence filling her with a sense of dread unlike anything she had ever felt before. As Maya delved deeper into the memories of Elm Street's past, she uncovered long-buried secrets that shed light on the true nature of the entity that had tormented her. She learned of its insatiable hunger for power, its thirst for control over the souls of those who dared to stand in its way. But even as Maya struggled to make sense of the horrors that she witnessed, she found herself drawn deeper into the darkness, her past and present colliding in a whirlwind of confusion and fear. And then, just as suddenly as it had begun, the visions faded, leaving Maya gasping for breath in the darkness of her home. She clutched at her chest, her heart pounding in her chest as she tried to make sense of what she had seen. But deep down, Maya knew that there were some things that were better left forgotten, some truths that were too terrible to bear. And as she sat alone in the silence of her home, she couldn't help but wonder if the darkness that had plagued Elm Street for so long would ever truly be vanquished. But for now, Maya was content to bask in the peace that had finally descended upon the town. For even though the echoes of the past would continue to haunt her, she knew that she had faced her demons head-on and emerged victorious. And as she closed her eyes and allowed herself to drift into a fitful sleep, she knew that she would always carry with her the knowledge that she had saved Elm Street from the darkness that threatened to consume it. Chapter 8 The Haunting Elm Street was no longer the peaceful suburban haven it once was. It had become a battleground, a place where the living and the dead clashed in a terrifying struggle for supremacy. Ghostly apparitions prowled the streets at night, their ethereal forms casting long shadows that seemed to dance in the moonlight. For Maya, the haunting was a constant reminder of the darkness that still lurked just beyond the edge of her perception. Every creak of the floorboards, every whisper of the wind outside sent a shiver down her spine, a primal instinct warning her of the danger that lurked just beyond the darkness. But it was the ghostly apparitions that tormented Maya the most. They appeared at the most unexpected moments, their hollow eyes boring into her soul as they whispered their cryptic warnings and taunts. Maya tried to brush them off, to convince herself that they were nothing more than figments of her imagination. But deep down, she knew that they were real, that they were a manifestation of the darkness that still lingered in Elm Street's shadows. As the haunting reached its terrifying crescendo, Maya's grip on reality began to slip. She found herself plagued by nightmares, each one more vivid and terrifying than the last. She would wake in a cold sweat, her heart 
pounding in her chest as she struggled to shake off the lingering sense of dread that clung to her like a suffocating blanket. But it was during the darkest hours of the night that the haunting reached its peak. Shadows danced along the walls, twisting and contorting into grotesque shapes that seemed to leer at Maya with malevolent intent. The air was thick with the scent of decay and rotting flowers, a sickly sweet aroma that seemed to cling to her skin like a second skin. And then, just when Maya thought she couldn't take it anymore, the haunting reached its terrifying climax. The ghostly apparitions descended upon Elm Street in a whirlwind of fury, their ethereal forms twisting and writhing as they unleashed their wrath upon the unsuspecting residents of the neighborhood. Maya watched in horror as the ghosts tore through the streets, their wails of anguish echoing through the night like a symphony of despair. She knew that she had to do something, that she couldn't stand by and watch as the darkness consumed Elm Street once again. With a steely resolve, Maya stepped out into the night, her heart filled with determination and hope. For she knew that the battle for Elm Street was far from over that, as long as there was still light in the darkness, there was still hope for salvation. And so, with the ghosts of Elm Street at her heels, Maya prepared to confront the darkness head on, knowing that the fate of the neighborhood rested in her hands. Chapter 9 Descent into Madness Maya's once steady grip on reality began to falter under the relentless assault of the darkness. Haunted by visions and hallucinations, she found herself struggling to distinguish truth from illusion, the line between reality and nightmare blurring with each passing moment. It started with subtle whispers in the darkness, voices that seemed to echo through the empty corridors of her mind. Maya tried to ignore them, to convince herself that they were nothing more than figments of her imagination. But the whispers persisted, growing louder and more insistent with each passing day. And then, the visions began fleeting glimpses of shadowy figures lurking just beyond the edge of her perception. Maya would catch sight of them out of the corner of her eye, their hollow eyes boring into her soul as they whispered their cryptic warnings and taunts. At first, Maya tried to rationalize the visions, to convince herself that they were nothing more than tricks of the light. But as the visions grew more frequent and more vivid, she found herself unable to deny their reality. They haunted her every waking moment, tormenting her with their twisted forms and malevolent intent. As Maya's sanity began to unravel, she found herself consumed by a sense of dread unlike anything she had ever felt before. She could feel the darkness closing in around her, its suffocating grip tightening with each passing moment. She knew that she was losing control, that the darkness was winning the battle for her soul. But even as Maya struggled to hold on to her sanity, a part of her welcomed the darkness with open arms. It whispered promises of power and control, of freedom from the shackles of reality. And as Maya listened to its seductive whispers, she found herself drawn deeper into its embrace, the line between protagonist and antagonist blurring with each passing moment. And then, just when Maya thought she couldn't take it anymore, the darkness consumed her completely. She surrendered herself to its embrace, allowing it to envelop her in its suffocating embrace. And as she descended into madness, she knew that there was no turning back, that she had become one with the darkness that had plagued Elm Street for so long. And so, as Maya disappeared into the shadows, the residents of Elm Street were left to wonder what had become of the woman who had once been their savior. For in the end, Maya had become consumed by the very darkness she had sought to defeat leaving behind nothing but echoes of a once bright and vibrant soul. Chapter 10, The Final Confrontation. The air crackled with tension as Maya stood face to face with the darkness that had consumed her soul. 
Shadows danced around her, twisting and contorting into grotesque shapes that seemed to leer at her with malevolent intent. But Maya refused to back down. She knew that the fate of Elm Street hung in the balance, and she was determined to see the darkness vanquished once and for all. With a steely resolve, Maya squared her shoulders and prepared to face her greatest challenge yet. The darkness surged forward, its tendrils reaching out to ensnare her in its suffocating embrace. But Maya stood her ground, her willpower burning bright against its malevolent force. The battle raged on, each blow exchanged sending shockwaves through the very fabric of reality. Maya fought with all her strength, her movements fueled by a fierce determination to protect those she loved. She could feel the darkness weakening with each passing moment, its grip on Elm Street loosening with every blow she landed. But even as Maya fought, she could sense the darkness growing stronger, its power intensifying with each passing moment. She knew that she was running out of time, that if she didn't find a way to defeat the darkness soon, all would be lost. And then, in a moment of clarity, Maya realized that the key to defeating the darkness lay not in brute force, but in tapping into her inner strength and courage. With a renewed sense of purpose, she reached deep within herself, drawing upon the reserves of power that lay dormant within her soul. With a primal roar, Maya unleashed her full strength upon the darkness, channeling her energy into a single, focused burst of light. The darkness recoiled at her touch, its form wavering and shifting as it struggled to maintain its grip on reality. And then, with a deafening roar, the darkness was gone, banished from Elm Street forever. Maya collapsed to her knees, her body trembling with exhaustion as she gazed out into the night. The stars shone bright overhead, their light a beacon of hope in the darkness that had plagued the town for so long. But even as Maya celebrated her victory, she knew that the battle was far from over. The darkness would always be lurking just beyond the edge of her perception, waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike once again. But for now, Elm Street was safe, its residents free from the grip of the darkness that had plagued them for so long. And as Maya closed her eyes and let the weight of her victory wash over her, she knew that she had done what she had set out to do. She had saved Elm Street from the darkness that threatened to consume it. Chapter 11, Redemption and Sacrifice. The aftermath of the final confrontation left Elm Street shrouded in silence, the echoes of battle still ringing in Maya's ears. As the dust settled and the last remnants of darkness dissipated into the night, Maya found herself grappling with the true cost of victory. Sacrifices had been made, lives lost in the struggle to banish the darkness once and for all. Maya's heart weighed heavy with guilt as she surveyed the damage wrought by the battle, her mind filled with thoughts of those who had fallen in the line of duty. But even as Maya mourned the loss of her comrades, she knew that their sacrifices had not been in vain. The darkness had been banished, its hold on Elm Street finally broken after centuries of torment. And though the cost had been great, Maya knew that it was a price worth paying to ensure the safety of those she loved. As the days passed, Maya found herself haunted by guilt and remorse, the weight of her actions bearing down on her like a burden too heavy to bear. She questioned whether she had made the right choices whether the sacrifices she had made had truly been necessary to achieve victory. But deep down, Maya knew that there was no turning back, that the darkness had been too great a threat to ignore, and that she had done what she had to do to protect those she loved. And though the guilt would always linger in the back of her mind, Maya knew that she could not allow it to consume her. With a renewed sense of purpose, Maya set out to rebuild Elm Street her heart filled with determination and hope for the future. Though scars of the battle would remain, she knew that they would serve as a reminder of the strength and resilience of the human spirit. 
and as Maya stood amidst the ruins of Elm Street, she made a solemn vow to never forget the sacrifices that had been made in the name of victory. For though the darkness had been banished, its memory would live on forever in the hearts of those who had fought to defeat it. And so, with a heavy heart and a renewed sense of purpose, Maya set out to rebuild Elm Street, determined to honor the sacrifices of those who had fallen in the battle against the darkness. Chapter 12, Dawn of a New Day. As the first rays of dawn broke over the horizon, casting a warm glow over the once darkened streets of Elm Street, Maya felt a sense of peace wash over her. The long night of terror and chaos was finally over, and a new day was dawning a day filled with hope and promise for the future. Elm Street emerged from the darkness, forever changed by Maya's ordeal. The scars of the past served as a reminder of the horrors that had once plagued the neighborhood, but they also served as a testament to the resilience of its residents. Despite the trials they had faced, they had emerged stronger and more united than ever before. As Maya walked through the streets of Elm Street, she couldn't help but feel a sense of pride in what they had accomplished. Though the battle against the darkness had been long and arduous, they had emerged victorious, their spirits unbroken by the trials they had faced. But even as Maya marveled at the transformation that had taken place, she knew that the scars of the past would never truly fade. They would serve as a reminder of the price that had been paid for victory, a solemn testament to the sacrifices that had been made in the name of freedom and justice. And yet, despite the pain and suffering that had been endured, Maya found solace in the light of dawn. For she knew that she had triumphed over the darkness, that she had secured a brighter future for Elm Street and its residents. As Maya stood amidst the ruins of her former life, she felt a sense of peace settle over her. The darkness may have left its mark on Elm Street, but it had also left behind a legacy of hope and resilience that would endure for generations to come. And as Maya looked out at the dawn of a new day, she knew that she would carry the memories of her ordeal with her always. But she also knew that she would never again be consumed by the darkness, for she had faced her demons head on and emerged stronger and more determined than ever before. And so, with a heart full of hope and a spirit unbroken by the trials of the past, Maya looked towards the future with optimism and courage, for she knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, she would face them with strength and resolve, secure in the knowledge that she had triumphed over the darkness and secured a brighter future for Elm Street. 